Martin's life had always been shaped by dreams and ambition. Growing up in a modest home with little material wealth, he had always believed that hard work and determination could create opportunities, even in the face of adversity. His dream was to open a bakery that would offer not only freshly baked bread, but also unique gourmet treats that would reflect the culture and traditions of his community. He envisioned a place where people could enjoy more than just food, they could experience the essence of local life through every bite. However, there was a major hurdle that stood in his way, money. Martin did not come from a wealthy background, and despite his creativity and passion, he lacked the financial resources to get his business off the ground. He approached several banks and investors, pitching his idea with confidence and hope. Unfortunately, time and again, he faced rejection. The banks were unwilling to take a risk on a small bakery, and potential investors doubted that his concept would succeed. After several failed attempts, Martin began to lose hope. The weight of the rejection seemed too heavy to bear. Still, deep down, his resolve never wavered. He believed in his idea, and he was not ready to give up. What he didn't know, however, was that while he was struggling to make ends meet, someone had been watching him from afar, quietly believing in his potential. This person saw something in Martin that others couldn't see, and they were determined to help him in ways that would change his life forever. Joy lived in a world that was far removed from Martin's. She came from an affluent family, one that had built a vast empire of luxury hotels and resorts. Her family's wealth and status afforded her a life filled with privilege and comfort, but Joy didn't share the same values as her relatives. She wasn't interested in the glamorous life of high society. Instead, she had always felt drawn to the idea of making a real impact in the world, of doing something meaningful with her life rather than just enjoying the fruits of her family's success. Joy often found herself feeling disconnected from the life her family expected her to lead. She admired hard work, determination, and the strength it took to overcome challenges, qualities that she saw in Martin. One day, while attending a community meeting in disguise, Joy overheard Martin talking passionately about his bakery idea. She was struck by his deep sense of purpose and his unwavering belief in his vision, despite the many setbacks he had faced. There was something genuine about him, something that resonated deeply with her. It wasn't just his ambition that attracted her, it was his integrity, his willingness to keep fighting for his dreams no matter how difficult the road ahead seemed. Jo realized she wanted to help him, but she knew that her family would not understand her decision. They would likely see it as a reckless move one that could cause trouble for both her and Martin. So, Joy made the choice to remain anonymous in her support, unsure of how to balance her desire to help with the potential fallout from her actions. Despite his initial struggles, Martin's life began to change when he received an unexpected piece of news. One day, he was informed that an anonymous benefactor had agreed to fund his bakery. At first, Martin was stunned. He couldn't understand how someone he had never met could believe in his vision enough to invest in it. He had faced so many rejections and disappointments that the idea of someone supporting him seemed almost too good to be true. Yet, when the funds arrived, he couldn't deny the feeling of relief and gratitude that washed over him. With the financial backing he needed, Martin threw himself into the work of opening the bakery. He poured his heart and soul into every detail, from selecting the ingredients to designing the layout of the shop. His dream was no longer just an idea, it was becoming a reality. As the bakery opened its doors to the public, it quickly became a local success. People were drawn not only to the delicious, 
unique treats but also to the warm and welcoming atmosphere Martin had carefully cultivated. He made it a point to connect with every customer, learning their names and making them feel like part of the bakery's family. As the business grew, Martin often thought about the mysterious benefactor who had helped him when no one else would. He felt an immense sense of gratitude, but also a deep curiosity about who this person might be. He wondered if they knew just how much their support had meant to him, and whether he would ever have the chance to meet them face to face. As Martin's bakery grew in popularity, Joy couldn't help but feel a sense of pride and curiosity about the business she had secretly funded. She had followed the progress of the bakery from afar, watching as it transformed into a beloved community hub. But despite her satisfaction in seeing Martin's success, she felt the urge to visit the bakery in person. It had become more than just a place she had helped create. It had become a symbol of the power of believing in someone when no one else did. One day, Joy decided to visit the bakery incognito, hoping to experience it as an ordinary customer. She walked through the door, intending to remain unnoticed, but Martin, ever the attentive owner, greeted her warmly. His friendly demeanor caught her off guard and she found herself drawn into a conversation about the bakery's menu and its recipes. It started off as a simple chat, but as they spoke, something deeper began to unfold. Joy was impressed by Martin's humility and his genuine passion for what he had created. She could see that he was not just running a business, he was fulfilling a dream that was bigger than himself. Martin, in turn, was intrigued by Joy's intelligence and kindness. Despite the differences in their backgrounds, they found a shared connection in their values and their love for the work that had brought them together. Over the coming days, Joy began visiting the bakery more frequently, each time growing closer to Martin. She felt conflicted, unsure of how long she could keep her secret hidden, but also afraid of what would happen if she told him the truth. Joy's growing connection with Martin did not go unnoticed. As she continued to visit the bakery, her family began to take notice of her frequent trips and her increasingly close relationship with someone from such a humble background. Her parents, particularly, were concerned. They had always expected her to marry someone who was at least on the same social level as their family someone who could uphold the image and status of their empire. They disapproved of her closeness to Martin, viewing him as a threat to the carefully curated life they had planned for her. One evening, Joy's parents confronted her, insisting that she end her relationship with Martin immediately. They couldn't understand why she would choose someone like him, someone without the same wealth and prestige, to them. It was an unacceptable choice, one that could cause irreparable damage to their family's reputation. The pressure from her family weighed heavily on Joy, but she knew in her heart that she couldn't give up on Martin. He had become more than just a business partner or someone to admire from afar, he had become someone she cared for deeply. At the same time, Martin faced his own challenges. The whispers of the community grew louder as people questioned why Joy, someone from a wealthy family, would be interested in a man like him. He felt the weight of judgment on his shoulders, but he refused to let it shake his belief in their connection. Despite the opposition they faced from their respective families and communities, they found strength in each other. Their bond grew even stronger as they navigated these difficult circumstances, and they both knew that their love would be tested in ways they had never imagined. The pressure from Joy's family reached its peak one evening when, after much internal struggle, she decided to reveal the truth to Martin. After the bakery had closed for the day, she sat down with him and confessed that she was, in fact, the anonymous benefactor who had funded his bakery. Martin's reaction was one of disbelief. 
He had never imagined that the woman he had come to care for so deeply was the same person who had made his dream possible. Why didn't you tell me? He asked, his voice filled with a mix of confusion and admiration. Joy explained her reasons, her voice steady yet emotional. I believed in you, Martin, before I even knew you. I wanted you to succeed on your own terms, without feeling like you owed anyone anything. I didn't want my help to take away from your hard work and the pride you had in building this business. Her words touched him deeply, and in that moment, he realized just how much she had sacrificed to support him. The revelation only deepened his feelings for her. It was clear to him now that Joy's love for him wasn't just about helping him succeed, it was about believing in him as a person, as someone worthy of love and respect. But their challenges weren't over yet. Joy's family, furious at her decision, threatened to cut her off financially if she continued her relationship with Martin. They tried to use their wealth to force her to choose between them and the man she loved. But Joy stood firm. She knew that her happiness could not be bought, and she refused to let anyone dictate who she could love. Martin, too, was determined to prove himself. He worked harder than ever to make the bakery a success, not just for his own sake, but to show Joy that she had made the right choice in believing in him. Though the road ahead was not easy, Martin and Joy found strength in each other. They faced obstacles together, from Joy's family's disapproval to the judgment of their community, but each challenge only brought them closer. As time passed, Joy's family began to realize the depth of their daughter's commitment to Martin. They saw that she was not simply rebelling against them or making a rash decision. Instead, she had found someone who shared her values and who loved her for who she truly was. Comma, not for her family's wealth. Slowly, the walls of resistance began to come down, and Joy's parents began to accept Martin, even if they still had reservations about their relationship. In the meantime, Martin's bakery continued to thrive, becoming a symbol of the love, resilience, and dreams they had shared. As the business grew, it became more than just a source of income. It became a testament to their shared journey, a representation of the love and faith that had carried them through the hardest times. Together, they proved that love and perseverance could overcome any obstacle, no matter how difficult. Their story became an inspiration to others, showing that true wealth isn't measured by money or status, but by the depth of one's heart and the strength of their commitments. In the end, Martin and Joy built a life that was richer than any material possession, a life that was full of love, hope, and the belief that anything is possible when two people truly believe in each other.